The Summer Olympics are finally here and we have plenty of local athletes here to root for. We absolutely do. And first up to compete, Delonte Johnson, nicknamed Tiger in the sport of boxing. He is fierce and he is on a mission in Tokyo. Jimmy Donovan shares his story. Cleveland's been called a lot of things through the years, but now at this title, Welcome to the fighting town of Olympians. And Delonte Tiger Johnson adds to that reputation. Tiger Johnson becomes the fourth consecutive Olympic boxer from Cleveland and proud of it and proud of Cleveland. After all, he wears it. Check out that tattoo on his right arm. My whole dream since a little kid, I always wanted to really represent Cleveland. Like, I really love my city. Like, I, I can't really, I can't express how much I love my city. So one day I want to go down in history to be one of the best to come out of Cleveland. So yeah, I, I, I want to do my best to really have Cleveland on my back. Now, how do you get to climb through the ropes of the Olympic boxing ring in Tokyo? For Tiger, here's how it started. It was for him to be able to hang with the older kids in the neighborhood and on that ride to school every day on the bus. There was another reason too. His dad put him in the ring at age seven. Imagine that, seven years old. So the goal was to keep him busy and keep him away from trouble. There are different strategies in the fight game. You can be a puncher, a slugger. Tiger is not. In fact, his trainer, Renard Sappho, watches his prodigy box like it's a chess match. So it goes like this. Hit someone without getting hit. Makes sense. You playing chess with, with the opponent in front of you, but you also have to have the abilities to to add to add to that, so you can't just you can't just outsmart somebody without having the, the speed, the power, the feet work. You gotta have a little bit of everything, and be able to put that together to help to help with your chess game. The goal is no doubt that he should win the goal. He's the best one out there. If I do no box. I've been doing it since 1971. I've been coaching for like 30 some years, and I just know what a good boxer he is. Every Olympian this go around had a COVID story. So did Tiger. He and the rest of Team USA Boxing got forced out of their training site in Colorado Springs because of the virus. They had to train, so they ended up in an abandoned Macy's department store. Boxers don't need fancy, and this definitely was bare bones. Like everybody else, Tiger wants a medal, but he also wants a Cleveland legacy. After all, he'll have Cleveland in the ring and in his heart as he goes for gold. And you're definitely going to get entertained watching me fight. You know, you're going to get your money's worth watching me. I'm a real good boxer, so you, you won't, you know, be disappointed. And you're going to see if you come home with that gold medal. After the Olympics, when it's time to go for press, professional, I'm going to be doing a lot of things for Cleveland. It's been a long time since Cleveland has had an Olympic boxing gold medal winner. It was Nate Brooks back in 1952. So now, almost 70 years later, is this the guy the guy who started out at age seven and didn't want to get roughed up on the bus, could he be an Olympic champion? 